What's going on everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. This time covering the importance of defense and making sure that you treat this as an important part of your game. Now I know defense isn't the first thing to come to mind when people think of fun in fighting games, but it's an important part of your game, as the only thing less fun than playing defense is losing because you don't know how to block a combo. And if you don't invest some time into learning how to properly defend against attacks, then you might end up like the person I'm facing here. When he has you in the corner and he's playing his offense, you wouldn't even be able to tell that he doesn't know how to block a simple overhead. But as soon as you hit him with an overhead, he begins to crack. He keeps holding down back because typically that's the best way to guard, and it is. But when you see your opponent approaching from the air or performing an overhead, you have to be able to adapt and hold back instead of down back, or just jab to get him out of the overhead. That isn't the only thing you can do to be proactive on defense though. You see, one of the hardest parts about fighting games is people feel like they can't react to stuff fast enough, especially on defense, which leads to some people thinking that combos can go on for way too long, when in reality the combo stops and they just get hit again anyway. So what you have to do on defense is you have to be a mix of reactive and proactive. By looking at your opponent's habits, you'll be able to make an educated guess about what they're going to do next. You see, in this case, I was just literally spamming overheads. At any point, he could have hit me with a down heavy, jabbed, or done numerous other things to get me off of him. And after that, he could have started a combo of his own. But because he chose to keep holding down back, he ended up being pushed into the corner with Android 18, where I was able to knock her out with a couple more overheads. And the corner is just not the place you want to be if you're not brushed up on your defense. The corner takes away the benefit of you being pushed away from your opponent when they're hitting you. So you end up having less wiggle room to get out of the combo and react to stuff. With that being said, you still can. If you're good enough at knowing what your opponent's going to do, or at least good enough at reacting, you can take advantage of some of Dragon Ball Fighter's more defensive options. You have a vanish move you can perform by clicking medium and heavy, and by doing that you actually put your opponent in the corner instead of you. You can also use something called reflect, which not a lot of people take advantage of, by holding back and S or back and special. You can push away your opponent, almost as if a push block, which allows you the opportunity to get them off of you for a little, without even spending a bar. So those are the very basics of defense in Dragon Ball Fighters. Of course, it sounds very simple when you're listening to it in a video, but remember, you have to deal with some insane mix-ups in this game. The entire cast is capable of moving at insane speeds, so you'll have to watch out for cross-ups, sparking blast vanish mix-ups, and a whole lot more. But we'll have time to cover that later when the game releases and I get my hands on training mode. I hope you guys stick around for all of the insane videos I plan on putting out when the game releases, and I want to thank you all for watching these videos that I've been putting out up until the game's release. I've always wanted to do daily uploads for something on YouTube, and it just took this amazing looking game that's something I'm really passionate about to get me to finally do it. So with how excited I am, I would love to read some comments about what you're most excited for in Dragon Ball Fighters. I think for me it might be the training mode, and that cool 3 players versus 3 players mode. It's such an easy way to have a lot of fun, and yet a lot of game developers don't put that in on tag fighting games. Looking at you, Marvel Infinite. But hey, genuinely thanks so much guys for watching these videos, and I hope you stick around for more. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.